What is going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Ben Richardson. I am a personal trainer and I'm a chemical engineer. And if you're following any kind of trendy fad diet right now, whether it's the keto diet, paleo, the carnivore diet, maybe the Mediterranean diet, maybe you even went vegan or started eating vegetarian just for the sake of losing weight. If you're following any of those kinds of diets and you're not seeing good results, this is the video for you. Now make sure you subscribe to my channel because it's gonna teach you how to live a healthy, sustainable life through nutrition. So if you're interested, go ahead and subscribe and turn on the notification bells too so that you don't miss out on any of my latest content. So by the time you're done watching this video, you'll understand why all of these trendy diets are just absolutely useless. And if you stick around until the end, I'll even give you some solid tips on what you should do instead. So let's get into it. Now, the more traditional approach to dieting goes something like this. Cut out unhealthy foods from your diet and eat more healthy foods. Pretty much the basic structure of almost any diet goes something along those lines. Now, here is why that is such a stupid approach to losing weight and dieting. Because who even knows what healthy food is at this point? Like there's so much information out there on nutrition that talks about this and that, sugars, saturated fats, carbs, gluten, red meat, dairy, who even knows? Who knows what is unhealthy over here and what's healthy here? I mean, I think there's a general consensus as to, okay, we know that processed foods aren't the best. We know that fast food isn't the best, but still, even so. Rather than thinking about dieting in terms of cut out unhealthy food and eat more healthy foods, the way instead that you should be viewing your nutrition and your eating habits goes more along the lines of how can you eat foods that you love without cutting them out of your diet and still make good results? How can you lose weight without cutting out foods that you love out of your diet? You wanna follow a diet that allows you to eat foods that you love and your results aren't just completely sabotaged because of it. That is the key to mastering your nutrition for the rest of your life. Because if you think about it, when you follow a diet, there's always something that's gonna get in the way. There will always be your friend's wedding that you're gonna to wanna to drink at. There will always be some family gathering that you're gonna to wanna to try grandma's secret pie recipe. There's always gonna be the holiday season around the corner. There's always gonna be a friend's or a kid's birthday party or something like that. There's always gonna be the 4th of July and who's not gonna not drink on the 4th of July. Maybe you're just going out with your friends on the weekend or something and you're gonna enjoy some drinks and you're getting some Mexican or something. There will always be something that gets in the way of you following your perfect restrictive diet. Like, are you gonna show up to those events with your chicken and broccoli and Tupperware or something like that? Because that's the only way that you can follow your stupid, trendy, fad diet and still be able to go to those events. That's the only way that you can do it. So rather than viewing your diet in terms of restriction and I can eat these foods and I can't eat these foods, try to morph it more into, I can eat whatever I want as long as I can continue to lose weight and make progress. That is the key to mastering your nutrition for the rest of your life. And another thing is a lot of those trendy diets are so restrictive, especially ones that are macronutrient restrictive. The low carb diet that's very popular right now, diets like that completely crash your metabolism. They're straight up not good for your health because your body needs fats, carbs, and protein to function optimally. And the reality is that calories in, calories out, that is what matters the most at the end of the day. It is not carbs, it is not sugar, it's not saturated fat, it's not salt, it's not red meat. Calories in, calories out. If you eat fewer calories than you need in a given day and you do that for long enough, you will lose weight. It is thermodynamics and you are no exception to thermodynamics. But here's the thing, that's a good thing because if it works for anyone else in the world, it's gonna work for you too. And if you don't think so, I want you to think about how back in 2010, Professor Mark Hobb of Kansas State University, he actually set out to disprove the myth that you have to cut out unhealthy foods from your diet and eat more healthy foods in order to lose weight. He did this by eating ho-hos, 
and Twinkies and Swiss rolls and sugary cereals and Doritos, straight up just junk food. He ate just junk food for 10 weeks straight. But because he followed an 1800 per day calorie diet, he lost 27 pounds. Now I don't recommend that you do this because I'm sure Professor Mark Hobb felt like crap after doing this, but he proved his point. I mean, you can eat whatever you want to and still lose weight. And that is how you master your nutrition. Eat whatever you want to without sabotaging your results. So besides subscribing to my channel and checking out some of my other videos that I have on weight loss tips, here are some actionable items that you can do instead of following some whatever keto, paleo, carnivore diet or whatever that's just not sustainable in the long term. Download my fitness pal. It is a free app to use and it is so easy to use and there is so much information on my fitness pal. It's it's stupid. You go to any given restaurant almost anywhere and you can just use the search feature in my fitness pal to find the exact menu item that it is that you're eating. If you eat at any chain restaurant, any fast food restaurant, even if you eat at like a local restaurant, a lot of times they at least have their calories displayed on the menu, but you could still at least use the search function if you got, who knows, like Eggs Benedict or something at some local restaurant and you have no idea how many calories are in it. Just look up Eggs Benedict on the MyFitnessPal app and guess. There is literally no good reason for you to not be able to track your calories because there is so much information out there on any food that you can imagine. So download my fitness pal, use it, it is very powerful. Every single time you put something into your mouth, which is every day, so you need to make this a habit, every single time you eat food, open up that app and type in what you're eating. You don't need to do this forever, but you need to establish some kind of idea of how many calories are in the foods that you're eating. Number two, establish your caloric intake. So you need to create that calorie deficit if you want to lose weight. The problem here is a lot of people eat way, way, way too low calories and they can't stick to it. You wanna to stick to a range somewhere in 1,700 to 2,100 calories. Now, what you don't wanna do is listen to what my Fitness Pal app tells you once you punch in all of your information. Listen to me. So follow 1,700 to 2,100 calories. That is a calorie deficit for most people. And then another thing that you can do is follow an appropriate macronutrient split. So again, I have tons of other content on tips to lose weight and stuff. You can check out my macros for weight loss video right here after you're done watching this one. But you definitely want to follow a proper macronutrient split because when you do, not only are you going to lose weight when you follow your calorie deficit, when you follow a proper macronutrient split, you are going to feel good while you're losing weight. And that's the problem with a lot of diets is people just feel like crap when they're following these diets. They feel like they're starving, they feel like their energy levels are affected, and it's just not sustainable to cut out foods in the manner that those diets prescribe. And then one more thing that you can do is just start walking more. Get 10,000 steps in every single day. Anyone can walk. Literally anyone can walk. That, that is the ultimate form of cardio that anyone can do. You don't need to run, you don't need to do the elliptical, you don't need to do the stationary bike, you don't need to do any of those things. Just walk more, get more steps in per day, get more general movement in throughout the day, you will burn more calories and over the course of weeks and even months, that fat will melt off. You will lose weight. So follow those few tips and you will be losing weight in no time. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And again, if you're new here, subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be posting content like this every single week and you don't wanna be missing out. Don't forget to leave a comment also. Let me know what you think about the video. Maybe you agree, maybe you disagree, that's okay. But I'd appreciate it if you left a comment below. I do respond to them. So definitely let me know what you think or ask any questions that you might have after watching this video. If you made it to the end, thanks a lot for watching. I really do hope you got a lot out of this. Take care everyone and I'll see you in the next video.